Water is cool. Uh, unless it's in a hot tub, then I guess it's hot. Um, anyways, uh, make an Unreal Engine 4.26 project. I recommend the blank template or first person if you're feeling spicy. Ignore everything and go to your plugins. Type in water, enable it, restart the editor. When that's finished, add a landscape. Make sure edit layers is checked, otherwise the water won't work. Sculpt some details in just for fun. I like using a big, really low strength noise brush set to add. It gives a nice natural look for hills. Switch out of landscape editing mode and hop over to the place actors tab. Search water, grab an ocean. Look at you go, you beautiful bastard. Move it around to blend it nicely with the landscape. Under water height map settings, fall off settings. I recommend changing fall off mode to width. I think it blends nicer. Play around with the fall off width until you like it. Let's make it more natural. Go to effects, curl noise, and play around with the amounts for a bit. I like to use low values for their strength and one high frequency with one low frequency. That way you get a nice distribution of detail and shape. Your island still looks kind of like a square. Grab the spline points and shape it. Hold Alt and move to duplicate a spline point. This actually works for most stuff on the engine, not just splines. See how there are waves? What if... What if the waves were crazy? Go to the waves section. Expand the tabs. See the waves asset there? You can make your own. Make a new folder, custom waves. Click the spyglass next to the Gershner Waves Ocean asset. This will navigate you to where it is in the plugin files. Drag it to your custom waves folder and choose copy here. Rename it to custom ocean waves to avoid confusion. Apply it to your ocean. Open it up. There's a ton of stuff in here. Literally just like have fun with it for a while. And remember that you can always click the little yellow arrow to return a value to its default. Also in the waves section, wave attenuation water depth will adjust how far from the shoreline the waves start. Technically, it's how deep the water has to be for there to be waves, but practically speaking, it means the same thing. This isn't a materials tutorial, but just know that you can change these materials out for your own and it's like really cool. Now, water is cool and all, but let's say you want to sail the seas. Make a raft and blender, or just use a scaled cube if you're lazy. Make a pond. Add a static mesh component. Drag it onto the default scene root so that the static mesh component is the parent object. Set it to your mesh of choice. Check simulate physics. Add the brand new buoyancy component. In buoyancy data pontoons, add four array elements. For their relative locations, I'm using 300, 300, 300, negative 300, negative 300, 300, negative 300, negative 300. <clears throat> Basically, these are the locations relative to the origin of your pond that the buoyancy component will test when making your raft float. Put it into your scene. Hit play. It sinks immediately. That's because it weighs like a bajillion kilograms. Go back to your mesh and under physics, check mass in kg so that you can manually set its mass. Hit play now. It floats, but it's a little wobbly. Still in your mesh's physics properties, increase its angular dampening until it behaves. Too worked for me. But we're not done. Uh, there's like a bajillion other water bodies, uh... Water body lake adds a lake. It has pretty much all the same settings as the ocean. Water body river adds a river. You might be noticing a theme here. Its terrain settings work the same as the other water bodies. Water body exclusion volume is a way to control how the character movement interacts with the water. It does not, in fact, preclude water from generating inside the volume, as the name might suggest. Water body island makes an island. Make sure you have it on a landscape, otherwise it won't work right. Once again, same fall off settings and same fall off effects. A am I done?